Hey guys, so in today's video, it's going to be a little different than what I've done in the past because normally I um, do other things, different things. Um, but today's video is going to be something different and I just wanted to try this and do this because um, I watched this one person's channel and it's this is like their whole channel and I really like it and she just inspires me and helps me and I watch some of, I guess you could call them sermons. Um, and I listen, you know, to sermons and stuff, and it just inspired me that I want to do that. And another thing is, I haven't even told you guys what I'm doing yet, but I will in a second. Another thing is, I want to do this because I have been so blessed in my life. And I was listening to a Joel Osteen sermon, and it said that um, when you have been blessed, you need to go out and bless other people. And then you will continue to get blessed, but you need to go out and bless other people. And I think that I need to do that, a, like do that a lot more. And I thought that this is a way that I could bless other people because I know that by watching um, Joel Osteen and I watch Sadie Robertson, if you Robertson, how do you say it? Um, the daughter from Duck Dynasty, and she really inspires me and really helped me. And I want to do that. And I thought that this is a way that I could do that. So anyways, what I want to do, in a way, I guess it's sharing God's word. And before you click out of this video, like, no, uh, no, I don't want to listen to that, watch that, whatever. You never know, all right? You never know if it's going to change your day, help you out. So I hope you guys will continue to watch this. But what I want to do is kind of like some lifesavers, in a way. Things to remember. So I guess we'll call them things to remember. And yeah, so before we get into that, um, if you guys haven't made these bracelets yet, I don't know if you saw them on my arm already, you guys should really make them. I made some and they're super cute and they were fun to make. So if you're thinking about making these, I really suggest it. Um, I made one that says fearless, one that says faith, one that says my um, friend's name, one that says SHS Field Hockey, one that has a heart, one that has Jesus on it, and the one with the cross. And Maddie and I also made these necklaces too. So anyways, the first thing, and I have to pull up my hair because I'm like really hot. The first thing that I wanted to say for a thing to always remember is this goes into seasons in life. So if you guys have ever heard that in like a spiritual way because I'm sure you guys have heard it in school when you're learning about seasons like fall winter summer and spring you know you learn that the different seasons you have different weather and changes and you wear different clothing and some seasons it may rain more some it may snow some it may be super hot super cold whatever it is and that is a lot like seasons in your life because you go through different things and each season is going to be different but each season God has a plan for and he has a way of making them turn out for your best interest so I'm going to put this into a form of my life so I was in a really hard difficult time um, and it was not easy and I would always you know pray for my future where because I dealt with a lot of fear and worry and regret pray for a future where I didn't have to always worry or fear and I could just live peacefully and I just wouldn't deal with the things I was dealing with and I'm getting into that season and I think I'm there um but there's still things that I have to work on but that season of my life is coming to an end and it's so amazing to see that. And I thought of it in a way like, you know, that could be somebody saving grace if I were to share this. So if you're going through a really tough, hard season right now, like you just don't know how to keep going, you don't know what's happening, you just don't know how much more you can take, just remember, it's not gonna last forever. Just have some faith and if you're like, well, I don't know how to have faith because I don't know how to. The first thing is just accepting the things that have already happened, accept that Jesus is your savior, and then just accept that no matter what happens, you will be fine. Because no matter what happens, God is gonna be there 
because he loves us no matter what. And he's your constant companion. Um, I got a book from the library called Jesus Calling. And it's one of the, um, it's like a book of these like devotions. And one, it says, you are my constant companion. That It's saying Jesus is your constant companion. And he is. So no matter what happens, no matter if you lose your job, lose a family member, a friend, whatever it is, the one person you will never lose is Jesus. And he's always there. So when you're worried during a season or you just don't know, just remember that God is there. He will get you through this and it will not last forever. And you can think of it in a good way. You know, there's good seasons in life where you're like, wow, this is a really good time in my life right now. And that's a season too. And God's there with you in that season as well. So the first thing is seasons don't last forever and you can get through them. Second thing, I think that this goes with, I call it not getting confirmed with the ways of the world. So, you know, I think that a lot of people think that in order to have a good time or in order to be cool or in order to do whatever, they have to do certain things. And I know there is a point in my life where I thought that. And looking back on that, it's like, no, you don't have to. You just don't have to because you don't. So when you think that in order to have, you know, a good time with your friends, you have to do bad things or you just have to do things that just aren't right, you don't have to because there's a way to spend time with people that's good and to just have a good time with people. And I keep saying like the same things over and over again, but it's true. So, um, I guess, I don't know how to word that, but like, that's the second one. You don't have to go with the ways of the world. You can be different. You can say, even though that may be popular, it's not the right thing. And I think that's another thing we do. The you know, oh, it's popular, so it's a good thing to do. No, the right thing to do isn't always the most popular. So to not do stuff that people may do, it's just, it may not be the most popular thing, but it is the right thing. And in the end, and if you look back on your teenage years or whatever, cause I'm still like really young, I guess, but if when I grow up and I look back, I want to look back and think I did the right thing. And I know there was a time in my life where I wasn't there, but now I'm in that time where I'm g good and I'm doing good. And I'm going to be really thankful when I look back and I think I didn't do all those things all the time. And I hung out with good people, right people that were making good decisions. And... I can look back on that season where I wasn't there and be grateful for God's grace and God's mercy that I got into this season that I'm in right now. And you may not think you can do it, but you can. You can get out of that season. So that's the second thing. Um, the third thing is just be you. Um, and I know that that is something that can be super hard to just be you. Um, because there's so many people in the world that want you to be different ways and want you to say this and act like that and talk like this and dress like that. But if you're not comfortable with it, then don't. Because there's no point in losing yourself over. And I know that I was in a time in my life where that happened. And, you know, I think a lot of times people will say if they're speaking the word or whatever, um, they're like, well, how do you know? You've never been there. I've been there. I've been there. And I'm able to look back on that time, be grateful I'm not there anymore, and know that I'm in this good time, and you can get into that good time. So, those three things. One, there's just seasons in your life, and they will not last forever. You will get out of them, and you can do this. Um, second thing, you don't have to confirm with the ways of the world. You don't have to do things just because they may be popular. Um, you can do what makes you happy. And three, be you. 
because being someone else is not worth it. God has called you here to be yourself, to fulfill a purpose for Him. He wants you to fulfill His purpose, His plan. And if you step away from being you, you can't fulfill that purpose. And I know that there was a time where I wasn't myself and there was no way I was gonna fulfill my purpose. And God saw that and God saved me and He can save you. And you can help by saving yourself. But I just, if you're just wondering, you know, how can I go on? How can I do that? You can do it with God because God is always there and God helps. Because we're pretty useless without God. I mean, there's not much that we really can do without Him. Um, we can do things that go against Him, but to do things to go with Him and good things and to fill, fulfill His purpose, you need to do it with Him. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was really different, and I liked it though. I think I could get a little bit better at it, but I definitely enjoyed it, and maybe I can do something a little different next time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that it could have maybe been a little helpful. And I kind of rambled on about the same things, and yeah. But hopefully you guys will still like this video. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Bye, guys.